Hi, I'm Jim Bamburek of the Manitoba Geological Survey. I'm standing on the northeastern tip of Hecla Island. Right adjacent to me on my left side is a, a dolomitic limestone or a dolomite of the uh, Red River Formation. It is the uh, doghead member of the uh, Red River, the lowermost part of the Red River Formation. Directly below this would be the unconsolidated sand or relatively unconsolidated sand of the Winnipeg Formation, the silica sand with uh, some minor clay. Uh, the way that I can test to see if this is in fact a uh, dolomite is to uh, put a little bit of acid on a piece of the rock and to see if by chance the uh, rock uh, uh, will fizz. So I've got a, a chunk of uh, dolomitic limestone or possibly dolomite and I'll see what happens. Uh, it fizzes but not very strongly. Here it uh, is much stronger. So yes, I would call it a dolomitic limestone. It means uh, it has been dolomitized and the way that we can see this uh, dolomitization are in these uh, beige or yellow colored portions of the uh, rock as opposed to the uh, off-white or uh, almost a uh, crystalline looking uh, rock which would be the limestone. So I'll try a little bit of acid over here and yes it fizzes quite strongly uh, in through the uh, whiter uh, portions as opposed to the yellow portions in here. It's roughly about an inch across uh, in, in these particular uh, models uh, of the, um, uh, uh, this dolomitic limestone. Uh, these blocks are roughly about a meter uh, or two in uh, thickness. And like I said, they're directly above uh, a soft sand. Now, uh, there are fractures in the rocks. Uh, there is a smooth fracture surface in through here. And uh, judging by the uh, direction, it's, it's roughly north-south. And this is the way that some of these blocks are moving out away from the uh, cliff face. What will happen is uh, rainwater and uh, ice uh, will form. Uh, uh, the rainwater will uh, uh, drip through these fractures and cracks. Uh, the ice will actually expand and break apart the rock and you actually get separation along these uh, joint surfaces. Uh, the rock is relatively thin bedded. Uh, there's maybe about uh, uh, a few uh, centimeters or maybe up to 10 centimeters, uh, 8 to 10 centimeters thickness in these uh, joints that are horizontal in through here. These also contribute to the way that the rocks will break and fracture. So uh, it is an active shoreline, uh, especially with higher water levels. Uh, there is more undercutting of the Winnipeg and uh, uh, all of the uh, uh, rubble and material you see in front of you, again, is part of a constant process of weathering and erosion. So technically, we're losing a little bit of Hecla Island in this place every year. Uh, a little bit of is going into Lake Winnipeg and uh, the island uh, gradually through time is, is shrinking. <laughs>